Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibel Explains. This video is all about multiplication of fraction in a whole number. We have an example here. What is 2 thirds of 90? I will draw a model for us to understand this lesson better because many of our students are visual learners. First thing that we should do is to draw a box. Okay, let's do that. This whole is equivalent to 90. What will we do in order for us to get the value of each box? We will just divide it into three equal parts. So let's do that. 90 divided by 3 is equal to how many 3's are there in 9? That's 3. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. 9 minus 9 is 0. Bring down 0. How many 3's are there in 0? There's none. So 0 times 3 is equal to 0. Minus 0 minus 0 is 0. So in each box, we'll have 30. We'll write here 30, 30, and then 30. So based on this illustration, we can already answer 2 thirds of 90, and that is 30 plus 30 is equal to 60. So our answer is 60. And that's it. We have another way of solving this. We can write 2 thirds times 90. And we can also write a denominator for our whole number. We can write it this way. 2 thirds times 90 over 1. Because any whole number has a denominator of 1. In multiplying fractions, we just multiply numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. So in this case, we can still do cancellation. What number can we divide 90 and 3? That's 3. So this 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. 90 divided by 3 is equal to 30. Here, we can now multiply. 2 times 30 is equal to 60. 1 times 1 is equal to 1, but this is not the final answer because 60 divided by 1 is equal to 60. So the answer is 60. So whether you are going to use the block model or the second method, you will still arrive at the same answer. So it's up for you to decide which one will work for you. I want to know your thoughts about this, so please comment down below which of these two you like better. Another example, 4 fifths of 250 is what? Let us now draw the box, so it's easy for us to visualize fractions. Let's divide it into 5 equal parts. This whole is equivalent to 250. We'll write that 250. How are we going to get the value of each box? We will just divide 250 by 5. So how many 5's are there in 25? That's 5. 5 times 5 is equal to 25. 25 minus 25 is 0. Bring down 0. How many 5's are there in 0? That's 0. 0 times 5 is equal to 0. Then subtract will have 0. So in each box, we'll have 50. Now, what is 4 fifths of 250? Based on this illustration, we can answer right away by just identifying which is the 4 fifths in here. And this is our 4 fifths. 50 times 4 is equal to 200. So our answer here is 200. We can have another way of solving this. It's going to be 4 fifths times 250. Or we may write 4 fifths times 250 over 1. 
then we can already multiply unless if there's something that we can cancel yes there's something that we can cancel 5 and 250 what number can we divide both 250 and 5 that's 5 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1 250 divided by 5 is equal to 50 now we can multiply 4 times 50 is equal to 200 1 times 1 is equal to 1 200 divided by 1 is 200 our final answer for this question is 200 and that's it don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful Till next time!